Yeah, I really did want to talk about uh, atheism and secularism. Um, and um, so, uh, it's the great danger, the great danger as I sort of see it, is the, is the uh, ongoing onslaught of atheism and secularism in the world. And um, Hawkins did do a lot of uh, very troubling uh, muscle testing in kinesiology. So I think around maybe 50 years ago, a lot of the major universities in the world were calibrating the 400s, which is like intellectual integrity. And a lot of the universities just before he died were calibrating below 200. So Harvard, you know, like Harvard, Yale, Oxford, Cambridge, all calibrating below 200, where they used to calibrate above 400. Really? So, and this was because of all the um, secular professors uh, that, that are now taking over the philosophy of these universities. So, um, and Hawkins, you know, so the thing with all people of faith is that they believe there is an absolute truth to the universe not like what some professor makes up, that there's no absolute, everything's relative, there is no absolute truth. To, if there's an absolute truth, that probably means there is an absolute God. And there's an absolute, um, there's an absolute way of conduct. And if secularism is true, or atheism is true, one of the things with atheism and secularism is that the ego escapes the idea that they're accountable to the universe. So it's very, very handy, you see. Because um, well, if there is no God, if there is no higher truth, then I can do what I want to do, and uh, that's great, you know. So, and uh, science, which likes to believe in causality, that everything can be described on the outside, and so the intellect, uh, the intellect and the thinking, become like the the God in society. So the intellect doesn't like to give rise to um, a higher level of consciousness than that of the intellect. So this is really, really troubling. Like in America, like Hawkins was going on about uh, the, you know, the Congress trying to take uh, in God we trust off the dollar bill and take out the word God over courthouses. So they're just trying to like delete God from, from everything. Because the, the atheists and the secularists don't like any mention that there could be like a higher truth. Um, and also what used to um, annoy Hawkins was that the Constitution of America calibrates around 700. So, uh, and was, you know, it's through, through, through divinity each, each man and woman is made equal. Uh, but, uh, you know, th what they're doing now is trying to say that the Constitution is meaning that um, they're trying to rephrase it in such the Constitution means that uh, religion, uh, you know, no religion should be, um, should be founded or um, in the sense that, you know, so that it just gives another route to take out religion from schools. Um, and uh, and uh, you really really need to be anti-religious. It's really a way of atheism and secularism to come in through the back door. And the thing with that is, like you know, when I went to school here, I think the same here in the UK. It's like they're taking all mention of religion out of the schools. So when I went to school, it would, it would sing Christmas hymns, and there was the the real Christmas spirit. You know, if we take all of that stuff out of the schools, then it's like the the youth are just going to be, you know, just going to believe whatever they want to believe. And of course, you know, um, and so the gateways, and some of, the, yes, some of the main gateways are like video games, video games, uh, rap music, horror films. Um, so that you've got no, you've got no, uh, we're taking out of culture all mention of God's spirituality and an absolute truth. And then, in, and then the universities and the schools are being run by uh, secular atheist professors. And we've got the, uh, the rise of, um, you know, now 
because I go to the 12-step groups in the rise of drugs and alcohol, drugs, alcohol and video games and atheism is something which can knock up, you know, eventually can lead to a country down, downhill. And in fact, uh, just prior to, uh, so the consciousness did move up eventually to 207, but it was going down at the time of Hawkins' death to 205. So these kind of, you know, the, the rise of uh, secularism is, is, a, is a danger to society. I think one of the great things is the 12-step groups, which teach that you need a higher power um, and various other things. But um, it's very, very troubling. It's very, very troubling. And um, I think the great thing is, you know, if there is, a, if there is absolute truth, if there is a God, uh, I think that's a great thing because it means I'm responsible for my actions and the sooner I know that the better for me. If I was bor born in a, in a kind of an atheistic agnostic like well that, that, that means there's no accountability to the universe you know I can go around stealing and hurting people and I don't have to worry about it you know. There is no such thing as my, my soul is accountable for, uh, for whatever I do. So it's like um, I think it's um, I think it's very, very dangerous that the schools and the universities are going downhill and, uh, you know, meet trust that groups, we get young people coming in, you know, just drugs and alcohol, you know, that's, uh, they're getting swayed. So then they're not really, um, uh, the traditional values uh, are being eroded, which is very, very dangerous and can lead to eventually the downfall of society. But there's also good things happening. And there are spiritual, spiritual groups and things which are, which are taking place. But it's troubling when um, the school system, the university system, is becoming atheistic and agnostic, be based, and they're trying to like get rid of uh, spirituality. Uh, so that's the thing. And uh, there was something else I was going to say about that. I forgot. There was another. There was another thing on that. Yeah. So it's just. Um, is just one of those things that um, uh, that go there, and sometimes people get negatively affected by religions, so they like to get rid of that. But that's um, as someone was in the group was sort of saying, like a lot of a lot of uh, things, spiritual texts are just warped by uh, people's egos, so they have uh, uh, distortions within them. But uh, the true levels of um, uh, the true levels of spirituality are unconditional love and a, and a loving, a loving God.